Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for SAT. We have been solving SAT math problems out of this book here, the SAT Official Study Guide 2020. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today, we'll solve some gradient problems that you will find on page number 731. Please turn to it. Page 731. Always make sure the book is in front of you. There are five of them there. Let's take care of them. Shall we? Beginning with number 16. If at the end of the video you find this helpful and you decide that you would like to work with me, you can always get hold of me by sending me an email at kishwaniprep at icloud.com. Let's take a look at number 16. Number 16 on page 731 says, Two x plus eight is equal to sixteen, and the question simply is, how much is x plus four? How much is x plus four? is quite straightforward, as you can see. If we divide this equation that is given to us by two, two x divided by two will become x. Eight divided by two will become four, and therefore sixteen divided by two will become eight. There you go. How much is x plus four? The answer is eight. Let's look at the next one. Number number seventeen. Number 17, we are given a picture here. Let me, let me draw it here. Something like this. And we are told that this is M, N, P, Q, and R. We are told that that, that angle over there is 1. Oh, that is not what is. That is not what is given here. We are told that this angle over there inside is 60 degrees, that is 70 degrees, and we are further told that NP is equal to QP and MP is equal to PR. The question is please, what's the angle QMR? QMR, let's take a look at it. QMR, the angle that we are interested in, QMR, the angle that we are interested in is this angle right here. We want to find out what that angle is. Let's see what we can do, shall we? Well, we know, we know that this angle is 60. We also know this is a straight line. Q to M is a straight line. This angle is 60. Therefore, this, this, this angle has to be 120. We are further told that MP MP M M to P is equal to P to R P to R. The fact that they tell us the fact that they tell us N to P N to P is equal to P to Q, and the fact that they tell us this angle is 70 is completely irrelevant to us. We're not interested in that. It it, it plays no role for us. So these two sides are equal. If these two sides are equal, this means the try, which means that the triangle MPR is an isosceles triangle, which means this angle that we're looking for has to equal that angle. And since this angle is 120, the sum of these two has to be 60, and therefore each one of them is 30. That's all. It is 30 degrees. Let's do the next one, shall we? Number 18. Number 18, we are told that 720 degrees equals A times pi radians. A times pi radians. Question simply is, how much is A? How much is the value of A? Well, we know, we know that 360 degrees, the whole circle, whole circle is made up of two pi radians. That, that we do know that the whole circle is two pi radians. 360 degrees is two pi. Well, we're not interested in 360, we're interested in 720. Well, as we can clearly see, 720 is just twice 360. So if you were to multiply both sides by two here, 360 times two becomes, becomes 720. This becomes 720 
and multiply this side by 2, multiply that side by 2, there we go. 720 degrees must equal 4 pi radians. 720 degrees must equal 4 pi radian and therefore A is equal to 4. A is equal to 4. Let's do 19. In 19, we are told that uh, a line passes through Line L passes through 1 4. We are also told that it crosses x, x axis at 2 0 and y axis at 0 B. The question simply is, what is B? Let's first talk about what does this B represent here. What does this B represent? Well, we are told the fact that it, that the fact that we are told that the line crosses y-axis at zero B, whether it's positively sloped or negatively sloped, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It tells you a line. It crosses y-axis at zero B. The B that we're looking for is our y-intercept, and we know that the equation of uh, the standard equation of a line in a slope intercept form is simply mx plus b. This is the b we are looking for. Let's first find out the slope of the guy. Once we have the slope, we can make progress. In order to, in order to know the slope, we have to have the coordinates of two points that the line passes through. And we have that. We know the line goes through 1, 4 and 2, 0. So let's find the slope. Slope is equal to m, which is simply change in y over change in x change in y, I'm, I'm going, we're going to go from here to here, so it's 4 minus 0, 4 minus 0, and 1 minus 2. Make sure you pay attention to which directions we are going, we cannot change the directions, either you go from here to here, or from here to here. 4 minus 0 is just 4, and 1 minus 2 is negative 1, which means the slope is negative 4. So there you go, y is equal to negative 4x plus b. Now we have the equation of the line. We still do not know the y-intercept, but then again one more time we can substitute either the coordinates of these two, co coordinates of this point 1, 4, or the coordinates of this point 2, 0 in this equation, because both of these points lie on the line, and we can solve for b. Let's put in 1, 4, or let's, let's put in 0, 2, 0 is less work. When x is equal to 2, y is 0 y is 0 when x is equal to 2. That will, so, that will give us this. There you go. 4 times 2 is 8. It's a negative 8. Bring the negative on this side, which means b is simply equal to 8. The y-intercept that we're looking for is just 8. Let's do the next one, number 20. In number 20, we are given 7,532 plus 100 y squared plus 10 times 10 y squared minus 110. We are told that this is equal to a y squared b. Question is, what is a plus b? In other words, this entire equation, the left side here, when it is when it's simplified, it boils down to this form, a y squared plus b. The question is, what's the sum of this coefficient? Coefficient of y squared and the constant b. Let's find out, shall we? a plus b is what we're looking for. Let's see what we can do. So we have 7,532 plus 100y squared plus, now we can open the parenthesis, 10 times 10 is 100y squared and 10 times 110 will simply be 1100. You just take one more zero. Let's, 
Let's combine the let's combine the term y squared hundred y squared and hundred y squared will give us two hundred y squared plus seven thousand five hundred thirty two minus eleven hundred seven thousand five hundred minus one thousand would have been six thousand five hundred but it's not one thousand it's eleven 1 hundred so instead of six thousand five hundred it's going to be six thousand four hundred six thousand four hundred thirty two equals a y squared plus b. There you go. Our a is equal to 200 and our b is equal to 6432. Therefore a plus b 6432 plus 200 simply be 6632. That's all. 6632. This amount here plus the 200. That was the end of the, that was the, end of the gradient questions. That was the end of the section. We'll meet again tomorrow and we'll start a new section. Until then, if you wish to get hold of me, if you wish to talk to me about anything at all, send me an email at kishwaniprep at icloud.com. Alright? Bye now.